printer project series. Today I'm going to be making plaid or checked backgrounds, building up lots of layers of colour to create backgrounds like this and like this. One of the nice things about this technique is you don't need very much, all you need is some strips of card like this to create the plaid or the check design. And if you join me in part two you will see how I finish off my plaid backgrounds to create a journal page like this and also some tags like this. Thanks so much for watching. I'm going to create some fun plaid or sometimes called checked um, colourful backgrounds. I'm using my 10 by 8 um, gel plate. Now you can use any size, it doesn't really matter. I'm printing on a super smooth 200 GSM card. It's just a regular card I get from an office supply shop. And I'm going to use acrylic paints, um, probably across the brands. I tend to go more for colour. And I may even use some neons to give it a little pop of colour peeking through. I'm going to begin with this carnation. It's one of the new colours uh, from the Dina Wakely Media range. It's a pastel pink and I'm just going to put that all over just so I've got a base layer to start with. I'm going to start building some colours on the top. I think I'll add some magenta. And I'm using my strips of card. I'm just going to create some stripes by laying those on top. And I'm going to print that over the top of the background. And all of this that's left behind I'm going to pick up and I will create a ghost print. This time I'm adding a bright citrusy yellow. turquoise I'm adding some lime white is one of the sort of top layers it will just break up that color a little bit as I add my layers on my second print I may also introduce a little bit of texture, it will just give me lighter um, stripes. So I'm using, this is a new one I've designed for Caravel Studio, this is Funky Flowers and it will just leave me with a little bit of pattern. my playful, colourful, multi-layered 
uh, plaid print just by using these simple strips of card to build up the layers and the pattern. Each one with its coordinating ghost print. Lots of layers of colour. This one's bright even by my standards. I hope you'll join me in part two and I will show you what I'm going to do with them. Thank you so much for watching.